Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Lund and welcome to another episode of the Supper Club Social, where we review restaurants, movies, and TV shows and talk about home bars, cocktails, and pop culture. <laughs> These are my co-hosts, Roy Smith. Hello. Special guest co-host. Yeah, we got a special co-host. Uh, a ghost? A special, <laughs> special host here with us. Um, special guest co-host. What would you like to be known as? <clears throat> well, just Brendan is fine. Brendan. Yeah. Okay. Keeping it simple. We can do that. You, you, call me, you guys can call me Burn. And stuff Burn, too. Barnacles. Could have picked any name you wanted, you yeah. know? Yeah, whatever you call I respond to bitch. Oh. Uh, <laughs> daddy. You keep yeah. your bedroom to All yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Well, we've got a full show for everyone today. Um, let's start it off with happy hour. Cheers. It's yeah. happy hour. Really threw in a real curveball in happy hour today. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we gotta, I gotta go with the the outline here, Roy, and then we'll touch on your special stuff, okay. right? The Manhattan, uh, Brendan. What is your take on the Lund history of the Manhattan? My take on it was that it was a special thing that our grandpa would serve us when we turned eighteen, not twenty one, <laughs> and uh, we thought it was super cool, and then we all got one. And we didn't know it at the time, but it was just whiskey and water. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually you got into making drinks and you said, you know, Manhattan's actually a really good drink. It's not just whiskey and water. Right. <laughs> There's a lot more to it. <laughs> um, do you remember drinking like thousand year old vermouth out of the big trailer up at Priest Lake? Is that when you taught me how to break into that building with a credit card? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. And I had... 12% vermouth from 1962. <laughs> so that is just a shred of evidence that he may have used vermouth, but just yeah. told us that it was whiskey and yeah. water. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Roy, you know most of the story, of the the, 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 the yeah. back story of the Manhattan. What Have you ever, cut, since you and Brendan haven't really met before, why don't you catch him up on where you picked up the story of the Lund Manhattan? Well, okay. Well, I mm-hmm. stroll up to their property for the first time. Oh, yeah. A yeah. good priest. <clears throat> and there's some other person there. And then... Oh, yeah. He, shall, he who shan't be named. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I show up with, like, a growler from the Priest Lake Brewery. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, oh, come back here. Come check out my bar. I'm like, oh, sweet, dude. Let's yeah. the bar. And he pulls this little, like, rickety <laughs> brown bar thing. <laughs> How dare you? It was. But when I first met you, I'm like, huh. You thought but, it was cool. Yeah. Now it's even cooler. Okay. It's not bathtub right. gin anymore. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and so he goes behind it. He's like, oh, I'll give you a Manhattan. And he's no measuring. No. Just takes the bottle. Yeah, about that. Yeah, a couple dabs of that. A little of this, a little um, of that. Uh, maraschino cherry. Here you go. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. That's burned. It was rough. Those were drinking straight gas. Yeah, but you didn't give them lake water, did you? No, uh, maybe. No, <laughs> it might have made it taste better. Um, there, there was a story that our grandpa used to just when he'd run out of mixers, he'd dip his cup in the lake <laughs> and yeah. throw a whiskey. He got dysentery or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, like some or, uh, legit thing. Whatever. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. there's yeah, severe diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. It's dysentery. <laughs> yeah, so. He, all right, well, that that kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. Then, um, basically... It was a long journey. Um, that was, what, like three years ago or something, maybe? Uh, roughly four. Four. Since then, we've kind of tried, yeah. attempted to dial in the It was a rough first craft. year. <laughs> now we're here. Yeah, a rough first year. Yeah. <laughs> a lot you of make them good now. The one you made today was yeah. uh, delicious. Pretty tasty. Oh, yeah. we um, got all the good ingredients now. Yeah, and um, I'm going to have to say that, you know, measuring is your friend. <laughs> yeah. like, um, they really mean it when it's like two parts whiskey, one part yeah. uh, vermouth, <laughs> and a couple shakes of bitters. Not just uh, just freestyle, you know. Mm-hmm. You need to get some WD-40 for these stools. I know. Can you... Uh, I'll try to stop swiveling. <clears throat> um, what uh, What else did you bring, Roy? Do you need the box? I can't pronounce Let's that. Let's just now. freestyle. Uh, you bought yeah. Lager Gluven? Lager Golden? You got to say it with the accent. That's Lug- a tough one. Lager Valen. That's yeah. not Scottish. That sounds Russian. I Lager Valen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's Nick Offerman's 11 year Lager Valen Scotch. <laughs> Stamp his head in your head if he doesn't say it with an accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. Really smoky. We yeah, are smoky. like. 
fire woody, I guess. Yeah. But uh, it's charred. Good. It's finished in a charred oak cask, and you can definitely. I'm definitely the wrong thing here, but the char yeah. is strong. Yeah, with it's good spot. though. Yeah. <laughs> I could. I mean, I couldn't probably drink it all night, but I mean, you could have a couple glasses of this and be fine. Yeah, compliments of Paps. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> It's a perfect uh, nightcap for sure, mm-hmm. and or to kick your night off, I would say, because it's not like the Highland Twelve where you're no. like you need one of those and then just go to bed like half hour yeah. later. Hmm. That's what I was doing when I, we went to the ocean this year because I was like, oh, I gotta get rid of all this alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just brought all my partial bottles, and that was one. So I just did just like a shot every night in the glass. Nice. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get through it. Yeah, there you go. Because it's a lot on your palate that one. Oh. Did you guys drive through Seattle when you went to the ocean? Uh, no, we go through Tacoma. Ah, oh, that's yeah, pretty far away. He'd rather uh, kill himself than go through Seattle. <laughs> well, yeah, someone got me lost in the Seattle last time I went oh, to Seattle. True. That was rough, Roy. That was. Hey, I had a freak out. When you're following somebody, you're following. You're, it's your job to keep up, even if you're three lanes over. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a mysterious left-hand exit. Yeah, that we don't Costanza. see outside of a tunnel. <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. That was. Um, Andrew was not happy with me after that. Yeah, well, we powered through, and we, we had a quite a nice time at the zoo, if I remember. Right. Well, that was after right. the zoo. After the we zoo? Left, yeah. We were heading out of, back to Spokane then? Yeah, there? and oh. we stopped at the little oh, uh, uh, truck stop place there. Yeah. Loves? Mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was like Chevron out of Issaquah. Yeah, right, yeah. guys. No, it's, like the, <laughs> no it's, the, it's the Flying J in Ellensburg, I think. Oh, in Ebert, yeah, yeah. Um, where we ate. Yeah, the, uh, there was like a steakhouse next to it. Man, this is I can't remember what it was. Called. It was really good. It was a flying J, though. Is the truck yeah. stop attached to it? There's, the restaurant's called something else. Though. Did, no, did yeah. you guys ever like growing up driving down the freeways and see the Loves signs and mistake yeah. it for some sex motel? No, because I and, didn't see Loves until I got up here. Oh, uh, it was. T- it's totally just a gas station. Yeah. I don't know yeah. why they call it Loves. I always thought it was a place for them to spend a half hour. <laughs> yeah. um, well, but I've no, been, it's just your, a gas station. Get your parking lot love, <laughs> yeah. your lot lizards, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, it doesn't make truck sense. Stop. Uh, it was always Flying J's that I remember um, growing up. Yeah, I don't even. And Where are you from? I'm from Oregon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. noob. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've we've That's got a well-established uh, speed limits are seventy here. That's yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't do increments of five. Mm-mm. Brent, uh, he's not just from Oregon. He's from like. Deep Oregon. Ah, uh, okay. A, a gotcha. logging town. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Not nice. Po- not those Portland motherfuckers. No. Yeah. I'll just put this this way. Your <laughs> yearbooks, mm-hmm. one of your years is all four of my years that yearbooks put together, thickness-wise. Oh, so there was like 20 people in your graduating 45. class? 45. 45. And that was a big class. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> like, if your yearbook and my yearbook had a baby... One of the classes would have been his premature whole yeah. year, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. Andrew was like, "Oh, is that just like your class for like a quarter?" I'm like, "No, this is the whole school for the whole year." <laughs> right. Uh, I got a. I, I wish I'd brought my yearbook. I'm sure Andrea wrote in it. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah, we did have a video yearbook though on DVD, so that's pretty cool. Oh, can't really neat. do that in a large school. No, that is cool. Yeah, is that because most of you couldn't really. Read, read. read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too no. many pictures, even. I don't know. They they were doing them for a long time. That's pretty cool, though. That I is mean, cool. That you'd yeah. watch that, look at that more often than a book. Mine's probably still at my mom's, or yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Actually, I, I probably have it, but I found some of mine. I actually found a mysterious note from a Ooh. girl once that interesting. She said, mm. she said some steamy stuff. Mm. Well, just like I was it something it. like, hey, hey you I always had a this thing summer. for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, let's get back on the show here. We're wandering into weird. Brendan. I was really enjoying that. We, we we've got a very strict. Yeah, strict I don't want. Yeah, we're on a show timeline here. here. Yeah, yeah, we are actually. Andrea said we have to be back in by nine. Yeah. Yeah, we got a whole hour. Oops. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so we've touched on happy hour. We forgot to push the button, Roy. Oh well. Should we push it now so you Brendan can, can hear post it? it? Yeah, sure. Why not? What's the button? Which, but, which button do you think it is, A or B? Uh, for happy hour, I think it's B. Oh. <sighs> Fucked it up, man. You need to put a sticky note out here, man. It's time for supper. Supper? It's supper. Time. Is this about dinner? Is it on that paper in front of you? 
Right, I thought you brought notes. I did, but not the notes and what these buttons are. Not production notes? It'd be like handwritten notes. Really. Nope. Okay, let's try A. Mm. This Cheers. slaps, man. It's happy hour. It's happy hour, baby. Cheers. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. Best part of every supper club is the happy hour part. That's right. You know? Especially when you drink an expensive scotch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're firmly in the uh, first world problem mm. lifestyle. Yeah, this is this this hundred year old charred scotch is too smoky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. What they charred in oak barrels <laughs> from the nineteenth century. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of funny too. when you guys were talking about the other scotch where it said you it felt like you face planted into yeah. peat moss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you tripped over a campfire. Yeah, and then face plant it into some a patch of moss. Yeah, that had really like. It had been in the sun all morning, and then it yeah. rained for Maybe like, like even old, old man's beard. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, you fully just... It's full yeah. moss, for sure. And Drinking comes Lord out your Gandalf. nose and everything, like all night. Lord Gandalf's beard all up yeah. in your face. All right, well, that's the happy hour segment. Let's move on to the next segment. Do we need to do a reset? Um, we got seven minutes left, but yeah. let's just let's do it with the segments. Good idea. Kay. And we forgot to clap. So. Yep, so clap now. Wait, actually, I'm going to say... Um, <gasps> So, Roy, let's move on to the next segment. Roy's got vision. The rest of the world wears bifocals. That's right. (laughs) We got perfect 2020-ish. But let's hit the... um, (laughs) What are we doing? We're going to do the recap section. All right. It's time to dive into the segment Segment of of the the week. week. Very nice. Segment of the week is everyone's fig favorite segment not necessarily the recap segment but i really i've got one question of unknown origin for you guys so brendan um a segment of the week is a rotating set of segments Mm -hmm. one of those is questions of unknown origin ah um and as i've explained before and as you could be your wife could be mom could be no, not that. Not no, that it's way. just somewhere in Ryan's mind. Oh, it's, the depths. It gets beamed <laughs> to me. As you have cleaned windows before, you know the places your mind can get. Oh, deep. Yeah. Abyss. Um, yeah. So that that's where these come from. Gotcha. The abyss of window cleaning mm-hmm. doldrums. Yeah, gotcha. Here we go. Why is it called a pickle and not a pickled cucumber? To trick kids into eating pickles instead of cucumbers. Because I didn't like cucumbers growing up, but I love pickles. Do they have the same health be- I mean, health benefits? Yeah, it's the same vegetable. Just one is... A pickle thing is soaked in vinegar, right? Well, so are pickles. Like salt <laughs> and brine. Yeah. Pickled is a Dutch word from pickle. <laughs> and <laughs> it, it means it actually is like the brine. That's what the word is from. Did this come from the fact that you used to nickname yourself Rickle? And for a nickel, <laughs> you can see my pickle. <laughs> my initials are R K L, so Rick oh, that's the most right, sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, no, I this got, is just from. I gotta about say, stuff. I, I bet it has something to do with the Latin derivation of of the. Or do you, you think know. it's the first thing they pickled? Ah, that's probably actually the truth. But why would? No. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> Don't hit Does he get to declare the answer to the ask, questions of the unknown? The I don't think again. he even knows the answer. So yeah. I know what, guys, yeah, that's kind of a... You guys kind of... Oops. Am I still in the f- thing? Yeah. Okay. Luckily. Um, <laughs> why is it called a pickle and not a pickled cucumber? Because pickling is the process. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because well, people don't like cucumbers, but they love pickles, so they just took the cucumber off it to trick people. Why wouldn't they call it carrot then? Well, carrots why, a lot more carrots healthy. are different. Why do they call but it milk and not really pastures, pasteurized maybe milk it's, process? Maybe it's the, liquid. Maybe because it changes the cucumber so much when you pickle it. Yeah, the molecules. Yeah. <laughs> the molecules. I don't know. What's the answer, Ryan? Well, there's. Roy, you love these ones. Don't sugarcoat it. There's no answer here. Yeah, I didn't fucking think so. (laughs) (laughs) Google had no answer. It just had the definition that's a Dutch word. (laughs) Um, I was probably right. I was really started off that question with what's better, a pickle or an olive? And then I started thinking like... I was going to say olive. Don't you kind of make... An olive seems like a pickled olive. They kind of come in that juice. Mm. Olive juice, pickle juice. Yeah. 
I get it. Wait, olives aren't pickled. No, no, they're not. But then I started thinking, could you olive something? <laughs> <laughs> and then I started thinking, Nobody pickles, puts pickles, stuff. pickles. So then I started Googling all these pickle questions, and one of the <laughs> suggested questions was, why is a pickled... Why, <laughs> why is it called a pickle and not a pickled cucumber? And that's where this all came from. Oh, I don't God. think I've said the word pickle this many times in my entire <laughs> life. But, nope. just, but I like the concept, can you olive something? Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Because olives start as like oh, a... It's olive. A nut. I don't think, <laughs> so. I don't think that's right. <laughs> they start, Roy, as, they start as a baby forest. unicorn, actually. <laughs> I gotta look it up now. How do you olive a steak? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I like um, olives more. I feel like they have more uses um, until pickles show up on a pizza. And then I think the oh. pickle will tip the scale. Because you can have everything you could have a pickle on, you can substitute an olive for. Sandwich, p- olive, boom. Mediterranean. Mm. Yeah. That's um, legit right there. But not on pizza. But not on pizza, yeah. So that's why it gives olives the... The hedge? The, the edge there, yeah. Yeah. No, they are kind of pickled. They Oh, really? Yeah, they're harvested. Pickled. They're olived. And cleaned and then cured in a natural brine of salt, oil, and flavorings. Huh. Do you remember a couple of episodes ago when Lyle was like, he was talking about all of us, and I said, what do olives have to do with this? <laughs> Maybe that's where this, this is started. Where started. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on theme for Christmas, do you guys remember the children's story, Olive the Other Reindeer? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was Rudolph's sister. I don't know. I think R- yeah, and his name You guys was, had some weird stories, because Andrea has a bunch of weird stories I've never heard of before. Either. I think she knows that, because we read she it in does. school. Like, yeah, Mrs. Huntley's class. What is it? Yeah, that must be it, because there's some other thing called, like, Harold and a Crown, Purple Crown or some crap. Easy, Roy. He's 90% bullshit. Well, no, no. All of the other reindeer is legit. She I'll will remember. Yeah. I yeah. But, yeah. Um, I, I didn't think, think it was real. She was trying to explain it to me, like, oh, this kid's just walking on the pages with a <laughs> crown, like, coloring random stuff. Huh. I'm pretty I'm sure like, we I didn't think so. And then she found it when we had Ashlyn. I'm like, this is the dumbest book I've ever seen Oh, my, my gosh. Life. No, I don't, re- I don't recall that one at yeah. all. All of the other reindeer, man. Check it out. It's the red-headed stepchild of Christmas stories. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is good. Oops. Oh. Time um, to you take your diabetes medicine or something. That is the little guy's allergy thing, and I just realized I snoozed it instead of stopped it. Oh, good job. There, it stopped. Don't you have to go give him his medicine? <laughs> Please. It'll be fine. It's one degree outside. I know. I got lucky this week. I had all good heated buses. Yeah, because you've told um, me before that those buses don't really keep well, up. Well, is that more on the AC side? No, it's heat too. Oh. So yesterday I had a bus that it was when the guy gave it to me, it was some new guy. Mm-hmm. It was like 55 degrees. <laughs> I'm like, this is not good. <laughs> but some of the buses have like a coolant heater switch mm. that like separately heats the coolant, which helps the heater. Hmm. Okay. And so I switched that on, and then it was like 70 degrees the rest of the day. Wow, nice. So I felt bad for that new guy just freezing his ass off early in the morning. (laughs) Do you have the type of bus where you're in like a hermetically sealed little cabin so that people can't like spit on you and attack you? No, it was too cheap to do anything. I mean, we have like plexiglass ones. Yeah. And then we have ones that we asked to get before COVID. Mm -hmm. That's more like a lock door, like a, I don't know. Like yeah. a safety door, at least, has like yeah. A glass, yeah. But they didn't want to do it. Like, they oh, didn't want to do that. No, oh, and so man. they didn't do that. And then COVID happened, and we're like, well, if you would just bought all the driver shields we asked you to put in, <laughs> the problem have to, would have been yeah. solved ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but nope. So they had to make all these shitty plexiglass ones with like you know, like the old screen doors that have like the little crappy little push lever thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's so those all break like the first day. Yeah. And so it takes one four year old to rake yeah. on it. And, and so done. the doors just swing open and close all day. Ah. Uh, and then we found solutions like, oh, you can't do that. It's going to break something else. And so we're like, well, we're going to do it. And so you start bringing in <laughs> yeah. like bungee cord and yeah, bungee barbed cord wire. And then, like the wheelchair <laughs> securement straps. You wrap those around stuff and hook them to things. Hmm. But yeah. But Don't no. you think the big guards just encourage people to throw stuff because they know they can't cause you bodily injury so they'll throw like a milkshake at it That's i've had I'm someone throw a two liter or a one liter thing at it right stay a with liter me of here. what stay with me here a liter of cola oh <laughs> cola <laughs> liter of Ro- cola. royal crown or coke yeah. actually Maybe. i think it was like mountain dew oh you know in super troopers when he's yeah. like do we have a liter of cola yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's why i said it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, just so you know, for whatever reason, this is dead, and we're on battery power on the oh, okay. track. And it's showing... Uh, Actually, my headphones just went dead. It's showing one bar. Well, this might be a quick, short episode. So, your headphones didn't go dead, did they? Uh, ba- uh barely. Your voice. We just like- stopped talking. Yeah. Well, you probably just put oh. something on accident when you were moving it. No, it's weird. Touch anything? Oh. You think I'm an amateur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. Let's move it on then. Yeah. Um, I gotta unlock my phone and get my notes and see what the heck we're doing next. Five one nine three. We haven't touched D yet. Mm. Is that show uncapped? We should, we should recap, recap it. it. No, we're recapping. You're right. We should. Is this about TV shows or movies or whatever? Oh, so I, I got input here. We are gonna, Brendan. <laughs> you watch a lot of the stuff we have recapped and talk a lot about on this podcast. I, I want your take on. A couple of things. Um, first, let's start off with Rings of Power. It was terrible. Really? Yeah. It was the most slow-moving, unimaginative bullcrap I've seen in the Lord of the Rings universe since The Hobbit. Mm. Mm. Uh, I did not give him that question b- before, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was an authentic reaction. <laughs> okay, what do you think of... Uh House, House of Dragons. Dragons. Wait, wait, Loved wait, wait. It. We've got to do one question here. You know the mysterious meteor guy that oh. shows up in the end of the series? Gandalf? Yeah. Thanks. That's We're going to stop that there. Oh, did um, I? A spoiler? No. Nope. That's just they the right answer. It. They didn't say it. House of the Dragon. So there's an all-star. Positive. Net positive. You watched the whole season? Yes. Hmm. Ryan couldn't even finish it. Yeah, I made it like four or five too episodes. Bo- too in. cerebral? It was too just boring. Too, yeah, I thought it was boring. Ah, see, it's I just, feel like they set up a good action season. What? I don't need that much setup. I don't know. I was really into the it dragged on for me. I don't know the the cesarean birth scenes didn't do anything for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> or the little girl having sex with her uncle. That hey, there was n- they didn't show any penetration. That was erotic. Oh, yeah, okay. that was weird. <laughs> it's been, it were, and cultures where you grow up like that, it's totally normal. <laughs> yeah, I know. I get it. Yeah, it's considered a compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of all his nieces, he picked her. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah that was weird. Yeah, no, I, I got to agree with that. So but I liked the that show. You know, they were running against each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was a House of Dragon guy. I was like, yeah, this is, it was more interesting. Huh. To I me. think you got to go back to and watch it when they're not run, when you're not so able to compare episode by episode and that type of thing. Like yeah. you know when you got yeah. nothing else to do. Who, watch who it, announced I really first liked it. when their episodes were going to go? I think Lord of the Rings did, and then they and then pushed HBO back, was like, yeah. "We're going to do it at the same yeah. time." Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and then, then they moved up. Supposedly the Snow one's supposed to come out on New Year's. Oh really? So I'll watch that even though I'll watch House it too. Dragon was What's coming out in New Year's? Snow. Snow. Oh, uh, Jon Snow's yeah. thing. Oh, Jon Snow, yeah. I didn't. I thought that got. Axed. I mean, it was on the internet, so who knows how true it is. Oh, it's got to be. That's the latest thing I saw. Huh. I've been watching Ted Lasso. Oh, wow. I've heard that's a good show. It is good. Mm-hmm. Like emotional. Seven episodes in. The last season is emotional. The first two are just like good show. Funny. Are they funny? More or? funny. Yeah. yeah. I do love uh, Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's he's like the perfect person for that role. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But before we wander off of this, I wanted you two have something in common. You've both seen Barbarian. Oh, oh, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> that was such a horrible movie. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so bad, right? Just spitting controversy out yeah. here. This is what I do on the show. Well, no, here's oh, what happened. Right. He said, "Hey, we want I want to watch this movie, and we're going to recap it." And I'm like, "Okay, sure." <laughs> and so I have ten minutes left of it. And he goes, oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't have time to watch it. And, and so he, I'm like, well, I only got 10 minutes left, so maybe it'll get better. No. Yeah. I've gotten, so like, I watched it, and I was just so disappointed. I thought the first hour had a lot of good suspense and scariness. I saw it in the theater, by the way. Oh, yeah, I saw it in my house. Ah, uh, yeah, you were in the comfort zone. And tell them exactly your viewing situation. Okay. Pitch black. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Now we're talking. Low volume. Lo, uh, Subtitles, low volume. What yeah. time of the day, Roy? Uh, <laughs> like four in the morning. Okay, when, before you went to work. Yeah, you can't watch a scary movie. No, when I you just get amped up to drive homeless people. I didn't like. Stab listen, you. I didn't it's like. Less scary than his job. <laughs> the scary character was not that great. Baby, 
Yeah. <laughs> and then they only touched on how that happened for like two minutes in the whole movie. Yeah. Like it was, was like, messed yeah. up though. Yeah, it was. But it's like this is I don't, I don't having know. a psycho monster running it around trying yeah. to breastfeed you is yeah. a pretty different concept in my opinion. It is a different <laughs> concept, but I was like, yeah, this is just kind of meh. I thought it seemed like a B movie. I still want to see it. It's good, right? You got to watch it. Yeah, uh, I've been into horror. I watched this, listen to this other podcast that he's a big horror fan, but he what? Five minutes on the I know, camera. Right? Okay, I'm, I'm just screen. saying. Come on, I'm in a flow here. Yeah, Every time know. I get in the flow, <laughs> I'm just telling you, <laughs> man. Hey, man, do you mind if you just like uh, monitor the time and let me and Roy talk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you just well. Keep... That's what happens. You put this camera in front of me. I can see how much time we got now. <laughs> I know. Well, I, know. I, angled... I feel like I'm part of a snuff film. Looking at it like that, yeah. it's kind of weird. It's kind of snuffy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys should see yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've come up with a term for that. I feel like we need to re-angle the cameras to catch Linda's in the background. Oh, we've done that. We do need oh. to do one of those things I did for the radio bar. That's like yeah. kind of shows everything in here because mm-hmm. nobody i mean you guys look like you're in a unabomber den and <laughs> nice well i'm you look the, like you're I in some brown, brown tarp behind us yeah. <laughs> you look like you're in some sort of bunker <laughs> yeah, uh anyhow any hoosier here so that those were my two controversial things mm. to bring up um good since questions apparently um, me and roy are just opposite ends yeah, of the a, spectrum on a lot a lot, a lot. <laughs> Does anybody remember which button the supper club was? Uh, B. B. We agree. All right, people. Grab your seat. It's time for supper. It's It's supper club time. Supper club time. When did you get these musical backtracks? YouTube Musical Library. Second episode. That's (laughs) come up. (laughs) Liquor Jacket could give you something way more poppy, slappy, you know? Oh. You might insult my co-host here, who spent four days combing through YouTube for of you. Clips. So, hey, <laughs> we can come up with no, four thousand uh, sound bites for you too, if you want the same experience. Yeah, I would love it. Would yeah. you guys be open to a liquor jacket produced uh, soundscape? We would. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, like, we have a couple other bands. In mind, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But we'd be willing to listen to you also. <laughs> um, like fifteen second snippets of like transition music. Yeah. yeah. Word. Baselines. I'll put it to committee. All right. Sounds good. Supper Club. This is just a panel type show. Yeah. So, is Mexican food. <laughs> Went down the wrong path. Is Mexican food. <laughs> or my first beer. The ultimate group gathering meal? If not, what is? I throw it to you, Brendan. I, having just hosted a 15-person fajita feed, mm, wow! Um, I gotta say, it's got a good a, a good name to it. A literally, a literally, a literally. The onomatopoeia is speaking, strong with this one. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta say, Mexican food is easy to make in bulk, and it's yeah. tasty as crap. And um, so, yes, You're that's going, my answer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'd go yeah also because yeah. we got nachos, got tacos, burritos, yeah. taquitos, all, all group food. Yeah, yeah, and then um, chips and salsa, queso the dip. Only thing I'm gonna throw out in in a fight with this is the breakfast world, just American breakfast. Yeah, but you're not throwing a party because yeah, you could breakfast like party. Eggs, is that like a separate question or no? That actually, I kind of stumbled into that, so just <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mexican breakfast. Um, so yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I think it is too. Yeah, you can cook I mean, you a can thousand burritos, burritos or tacos, yeah. and Quesadillas. everyone's happy. I got an existential question. Hmm. Do you think there is an actual difference between Tex-Mex and Mexican food? Yeah. Ah, what is the difference? I think Tex-Mex is been like americanized roy's also like from texas just yeah so. oh <laughs> shit <laughs> right. that's the right guy yeah, so i mean <laughs> right. i think it's like the american version of mexican food do they put like barbecue on stuff or no it's not like it's just no, it's more like um so if you go to like i mean i watch a lot of cooking like you use like, tater tots instead of rice yeah but like oh uh, okay mexi tots or whatever mm-hmm. those are like mm. texas mex you know Okay. And then, like, authentic Mexican food is, like, way harder to make than, like, what, what we, we throw think together. Yeah. Is Mexican like, food? Taco Bell would be, like, Tex Mex. Are, are we all eating Tex Mex and I just Probably. don't know it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, what's something that exists in Tex Mex that doesn't 
exist in just normal, like you're going to find at a Mexican restaurant. Uh-huh. I'm uh, saying they're different because it's not authentic Mexican food. It's got like an American tater tots. spin on it. Yeah, tater I think tots. tater tots exist in the Tex-Mex world. Yeah. It doesn't exist in Mexico. Or Fair Mexican, enough. yeah. I mean, we don't really know anything, so don't really take our <laughs> advice on this. I could be totally wrong, but... Well, no, but like there used to be a, cool know a lot about this. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. But I'm Let's not hear say it. a lot. Let's hear. No, I'm gonna hold it back. Hey, yeah. hey, Roy, do you like sour cream in your Mexican food? I'm not a big fan of sour cream. Ah, I'll do it. Yeah. Like if I order it and I say don't put it in there, and they put it in there, I'll eat it. Yeah. But like it's not gonna yeah. turn you off that. Yeah. Much. I don't go out of my way to put it on anything. What's your opinion on Frank's hot sauce? Frank's hot sauce? Yeah, that's mm. all right. Oh, that's mixing that with sour cream for me is like yeah. You know, I met Jesus that day. Hmm. I wish I knew how to pronounce it. I just found a new hot sauce that a guy at work showed me. It's like a little, like, it looks like a Tabasco bottle, but it has, like, a blue label. It's like, oh, I don't know, like. It's not that aardvark stuff, or is something. It? No, yeah. oh, okay. not that. It's got, like, a Hispanic mm. name on it. Yeah. It took me a while to find it, but it's really good. I'm not a big hot sauce fan, like, real hot sauce. No. I, uh, it's <laughs> I'm a wuss. You don't do yeah. the chalupa, the chachula, chachula, or the tapatio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it started chichula. with the C though. Yeah. Chalupa, the taco, and the burrito. Yeah. Trader Joe's. Joe's has some pretty good sauces. Yeah, like they have like a taco hot sauce that's pretty good, mm-hmm. and then one called a green dragon. It's like a green hot sauce. Oh, I like the green. I like the green sauces yeah. a lot. Trader Joe's also has a really good gnocchi. Game. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm talking we about. We get their Noki. Gorgonzola. Next question. Yeah. What is something you used to eat in your early 20s that you don't eat anymore? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Because uh, my tastes have, uh, tastes have expanded since my 20s. I pretty much eat everything I used to eat. Just not as, as much. Is something I, flashing behind me? Mm, no. No, I think it's just... Uh, is it the fire flickering or something? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I don't really eat cereal anymore. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Legit. I don't eat cereal. I don't eat every, breakfast. Every now and then I'll have some, like, mm. we're, like, on a family trip, and I just want something real quick, and the kids are eating, it, I'll eat it. But Yeah. At my mom's house today, I had uh, Cheerios with milk, and I had a full glass of milk with it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted Did you put, like, a cup of sugar in it, too? I should have. I don't know. It felt so messed up to be drinking milk. I yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if, it, like, they sold gallons of milk with like a fake teat you just, like, <laughs> you just like, rub your yeah. face all over it after you drink the real cow oh, looks extraction like barbarians right up his yeah leg. barbarian that's why i loved it man it's, it's all about lactation <laughs> <laughs> all right next question oh for me it's eggs because i well, found out you have an intolerance an issue yeah, yeah he thinks he does oh i guess that'd be seafood for me oh yeah seafood yeah. Ooh. Ugh. yeah, yeah. Well, Many people it. have tried to kill Roy since he announced everybody yeah, yeah, that he's own, allergic to shellfish. My own brother-in-law oh, really? came up for Thanksgiving. He makes really good crab dip. Yeah. And he brought it over just to make it for me. <laughs> and he was so stoked. He's like, oh, man, Roy, I got crab dip ready to go, buddy. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I had to take a moment. You don't love me, do you? I was like, he's like, oh, my God, I forgot. I'm so sorry. I could feel my throat clenching yeah. up. I want do you like to, the taste of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to. I, yeah. oh, everyone had to tell me, don't do it right. Don't get one. <laughs> You're a young like, man. Oh, like, I want it so bad, though. All right. But, Last yeah. question in the Supper Club section of this podcast. Are you a master of pancake, master of waffle, or master of biscuit? A little pancake. Biscuit. Hmm. Both easy compared to the waffle, which I'm a master of. Mm. All it takes is that one machine. Yeah. I'd be willing to take. Uh, no, it's all about the batter. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the pancake. Well, that's master of the batter, not yeah. the Same with the yeah. biscuit. <laughs> you're a master batter? Anchor? <laughs> you throw your biscuits what's in the What's your you? master batter game? <laughs> Looking like. <laughs> Real mature. Real mature. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think anyone's uh, come across that euphemism before. No, just I'm, the master debater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're the master <laughs> Yeah, I actually the master batter. Uh, we should make T-shirts. <laughs> the master batters. <laughs> Mister, I knew a kid in middle school. His last name was Bates, and he's kind of a weird, weird kid. Mm. We all always called him Master Bates. Nice. That's awesome. We had a kid we called Boner. Was his last name? No, nope, it was Rashon. <laughs> <laughs> and we it called him. I don't know why it started, but 
we started calling him that, and then one day our PE teacher called him in class, like yelled it, oh, to get his attention. Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> nice. He had to have been there. Uh, it's pretty epic. It's yeah. a field hockey stick, not yeah. a. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real nickname if a teacher calls you it. Yeah. Well, yeah. she didn't mean to. Call. Oh, it was a she? Oh, it's even girl? more complicated yeah. from a female teacher. Wow. Yeah. Of course, you have to do the Oregon calculation where everything's kind of like yeah. weird down there. I never Oregon. noticed in this lighting, right? But you have a dimple on Pickle? your upper cheek when you uh, hmm. really grimace. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of that. <laughs> I haven't announced on the podcast yet that I had knee surgery a week yep. ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a treat. Stitches look good. It's a real treat. Yeah. Stitches look nice. No infections. A little swelling. So I'm playing like a tag with the swelling, like I'll ice the weird spot on this part of my leg mm-hmm. and we'll move to this part and the pain will go over here and now it's in my shin. Nice. I was walking through uh, Walmart today and you I should have took the little stroller cart. I did it in Costco. Yeah. You know, my wife's such a badass. She's like, you're getting the, you're getting the whatever. What do you call it? I call it the uh, scooter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scooter. Like yeah. a cart. So I'm totally rolling through Costco on one of those things. Mm-hmm. And there's like this really, you know, you how you kind of want to, you want to baby it, you want to ease off. Yeah. yeah. And then you also want to slow down. Well, it's got like a real nice takeoff. Mm-hmm. But when you go to slow down, <laughs> like it's like <laughs> you get down to half power and then you're like, clunk, clunk. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> when the transmission finally yeah. kicks out. Yeah. <laughs> She'll like start walking or stop walking. And I turned it up and I would like try to slow down. And I'd stop like 15 <laughs> feet behind her. <laughs> and it was packed. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Christmas, I want to say thanks, Bren, for coming over, being on our show. Yeah. Because what yeah, is thanks Christmas for inviting me. Yeah. without a f- little family around? Yeah. yeah. Um, this is fun. This is way more fun than I actually thought it would be. Yeah. It's, it's a good time. He's a little yeah. stressed out that I was going to say time. something fucked it's up, but I realized time. it's kind of... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit easier than I thought. We don't really have like a, like a real script or anything. Yeah. yeah. The, the podcast culture here is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We are one with the... So all we try to do here is, like, encapsulate what happens in my kitchen when we have friends over, and it's like we're just standing this there is the ki- Yeah, it feels yeah. like the kitchen, yeah. Instead, it's a bar yeah. wrapped in tarps. <laughs> when, when we were streaming my band's practices, um, everyone was, like, walking on eggshells because our sense of humor gets, like, out of control at band practice. Yeah. And uh, they're on YouTube, and our, band, our band's called Liquor Jacket, if you ever want to see it. But um, it's... I, d- I don't talk on those things because I was too nervous. <laughs> yeah, buttholes puckered and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> There's sour cream on my taint with its <laughs> spritz of Frank's. Thanks, man. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is on YouTube, too, just so you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just tag me as we'll do hashtag Bill Shophocles or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join our club on Facebook at Supper Club Social. Underneath this week's episode, go and write a review of the drink if you've had it or if you decide to make it. And we will pick one or two of the comments and read them out on our next episode. You can find us at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, our website at www.supperclubsocial.net. We look forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a good one. Take it easy. Nice. I didn't know I had to do my part again. You got to do your part again.